All hour, we've been discussing what to do with some of the big winners in your portfolio. Nice question to ask. Here with our trades is David Bonson, Chief Investment Officer at the Bonson Group. And David, it's great to have you with us. Let's start with the obvious candidate, NVIDIA, whose shares are struggling again as semis have turned lower. But it's still up 160 percent this year. What would you do with it? Uh, we would sell it. And the reason we would sell it is because it's overvalued. It has nothing to do with the fact that we don't think it's a huge company that's going to be a major player in AI for years to come. But when you're trading at 60 times forward earnings, that's already priced in. And the Cisco of 1999 narrative is very much what we believe in. Not to split hairs here, but what I don't know if we can show the forward multiple. I thought it was more like 40, although I haven't checked in in a couple of weeks. So maybe it is 60 now. Well, I think uh, it depends on what projection you're looking at. It's about it was about 56 times uh, at its peak the other day. The stock has come down a little. It was well over 70 times trailing. But a forward multiple on a company like NVIDIA is impossible to perfectly calculate because it assumes certain projections that are not quite as well known with this massive order flow growth that they're dealing with with chips. That said, I remember uh, one of our guests pointing out that last year, it turns out NVIDIA was trading at six times forward earnings because the earnings estimates were so much understating its true uh, earnings power. That's right. And if anyone believes they will grow earnings 2000 percent again, then they should not sell the stock. <laughs> All right. Let's move along to Eli Lilly. Uh, maybe is a controversial. I don't know. It's up 51 percent this year amid this GLP craze. Yeah. What would you do with this one? We would sell this as well. And again, this is a pharma company that, unlike a big tech company, is used to being a good dividend payer, dividend grower, which is what we care about. And in Lily's case, unlike Merck and unlike some of the other great pharma companies, they have not chosen to continue growing the dividend as their cash flow has grown. And that reflects to me, Kelly, management's low confidence in the sustainability of what they're doing. They've had a huge peak in earnings out of the weight loss drug success. Now they face competition from that. There will be more uh, products coming online that compete with Lilly. And I think that ultimately the fact they haven't grown their dividend, that you're yielding half a percent as a big pharma company makes no sense to me. That's really interesting. And maybe the onus is on them. Love to hear maybe uh, the CEO talk about that and whether that could change. All right. And then Chipotle, those shares are up to 40 percent this year. The stock will split 50 to one next week. And it's been a high flyer for, you know, I feel like as long as I've been on the planet. <laughs> What's your trade? Yeah, it has been a high fire, and there's been a couple times that you and I have been on the planet where Chipotle had a big drawdown, uh -huh. and then it rebounded from that. And so it is a name that is hard to bet against in terms of the success it's had. The reason we're a sell with Chipotle is a 0% dividend yield. Where is the free cash flow going? At this point, if they're not in a position, like you look at McDonald's, Kelly, that is up 67,000% since mm -hmm. it went public. They've been one of the great dividend growers of all time. Chipotle is far past the phase where they should be there. So to us, it's a sell. Uh, we think that it just eventually falls to the law of fads. It won't, it cannot be as popular with that kind of smart, casual Mexican food uh, through time. Now, of course, you know, I could have said that five years ago. I would have been very wrong. But again, I'm taking my P's and Q's for management here. Why are they not paying a dividend? They're generating the free cash flow to do it. That would be an interesting next chapter for some of these names. In the meantime, David says, sell them, book the gains. David Bonson, yeah. thanks for joining us. Appreciate your time.